ஹலோ நமஸ்காரம்ஸ் ஐ எம் கேசவ் மூர்த்தி ஃப்ரம் இக்னைட்டிங் யங் மைண்ட்ஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஷுட் லுக் அட் வாட் ஆர் த ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் அவைலபிள் ஃபார் டூயிங் என்ஜினியரிங் ஆஃப்டர் டுவெல்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் நவ் த ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஆர் ரைட்டிங் த டுவெல்த் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் எக்ஸாம் ஆஃப்டர் தட் மெனி ஆஃப் தெம் வில் பி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டட் இன் கோயிங் ஃபார் என்ஜினியரிங் வாட் ஆர் த ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் அவைலபிள் இன் தமிழ்நாடு லெட் அஸ் லுக் அட் தட் வி ஹேவ் கவர்மெண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் காலேஜஸ் நியர்லி அபவுட் ஃபிஃப்டீன் காலேஜஸ் ஆர் தேர் அண்ட் த அட்மிஷன் இஸ் த்ரூ கவுன்சிலிங் based on the marks obtained in the 12th standard uh, board exam that is they uh, prepare what is called a cut off where they give weightage for uh, mathematics uh, two times and weightage for physics and chem- chemistry one time so they will calculate for 200 marks and then that is called cut off based on the cut off uh, the admissions will given will be given through counseling here in government colleges where the total fees may come up, are up to about 10000 rupees per annum and hostel fees probably around 60000 per annum uh, this is uh, about the fee structure in government engineering colleges second is private colleges so there are many private colleges good private colleges are there so in total in tamil nadu there are 500 engineering colleges out of which the top 100 private colleges are considered to be good there the fee structure uh, will be about 75000 to uh, 1 lakh per annum and the hostel fees will be around 75000 per uh, per annum so then we have another set of private colleges maybe about 150 to 200 colleges come in this private sector uh, you know colleges there the fee structure will may be around 60 to uh, 65000 per uh, per annum hostel fees may be around 60 to 65000 per annum and re- remaining around 100 to 150 colleges are there uh, in the private uh, you know engineering colleges are there in tamil nadu and uh, they don't have sufficient infrastructure and the teachers so i would not recommend uh, the students to join any of those colleges okay in addition to this we have what is called a deemed university there are many deemed universities more than 10 deemed universities there they give admission uh, through their entrance exam or through uh, je main score so these are the two entry points for students to go join this deemed university there the fees will be on the higher side it may be around uh, 2 lakhs to 5 lakhs per annum and hostel fees will be 1 lakh to 1.5 lakhs so this, this is the fees will be more the quality of education in some of the deemed universities are really good and the placement is also good then we have iits for this you have to write je advanced and if you clear je advanced you can get admission into btech uh, engineering program in iits then we have nits national institute of technology we have one in tirchi and then triple it you know uh, so that we have in chennai and then sri rangam so if you want to get admission into nids and triple ids uh, you can uh, you know you, you have to write what is called je main so based on the je main score they will give admission in all these institutes the fees will be reasonable uh, in nids and uh, triple ids the fees will be around uh, 60 70000 per annum hostel fees will be around 75000 per annum in iits the fees uh, fees uh, is uh, about 2 lakhs per annum hostel fees will be again roughly about 75000 to Uh, one lakh per annum so these are some of the inputs we thought we'll share to the students so that when they want to take a decision where to go uh, how to ad- uh, get admission and what would be the cost this will give some idea for them okay thank you so much for listening to this video uh, in case you have any queries on this you can always talk to us our uh, whatsapp number is 9952419531 now you can share this video to your friends uh, to co-parents and then uh, co teachers thank you